fantastic day. Thank you for catching this video. In this video, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about my story, my kind of my transformation story regarding my health and fitness and why it led me to start helping others kind of with their own health and fitness and how that kind of led to the shed the sugar challenge. And that's kind of where that's why you're here today, right? So <clears throat> essentially, I wanted to talk about a little bit about my backstory first. So if you don't know anything about me growing up, I wasn't terribly active, like I had a lot of energy and sure I ran around with my friends and whatnot, but I didn't necessarily like sports at school very much, probably because I didn't like the sports where you either had to chase a ball or balls were getting thrown around because I often got thrown or I often got hit in the face with the ball and I didn't, really didn't like that. And so I would often pretend I was sick during gym class in elementary school so that I wouldn't have to participate. Um, and then outside of that, I just, I, I tried other activities at home, like my, my our parents had us try other activities, but we didn't really get forced to stay in anything. So when I lost interest, I kind of lost interest, I fizzled off. And then I kind of just stopped doing anything consistently. Um, from there, I also didn't really have the, the greatest nutrition or the greatest diet um, growing up because I just, I, I was uneducated, right? Growing up, I, I had no idea what a balanced diet was, so I just kind of ate the way my parents ate. And so my my like I said my nutrition or quote unquote my diet and diet is not like a crash diet a diet by by the means that by, when I say diet I mean you know the food that I eat on a normal basis um, my diet was just full of too many things that didn't help me and not full enough things that would help me and so um, on top of that though there was a third component to the fact that I was starting to gain weight not only because I was inactive and because I didn't have a great relationship or I didn't have a good education with food, but I also didn't have a great relationship with food. I would eat my feelings mostly because I didn't have a great relationship with myself and I just, I had very low self-esteem. I didn't believe I was worthy of reaching my goals or of, you know, anything really. I didn't believe I was worthy of love for quite a long time, to be perfectly honest. And it wasn't through, or it wasn't until going through this transformation physically that I started going through an emotional and a physical or an emotional and a psychological transformation as well. And that I started to believe in myself more and to believe in, you know, and to believe in that I deserved things that everyone else deserved too. Right. And you deserve the exact same things. And that's why I'm here. Cause I think that you deserve the exact amazing, everything that you need <laughs> and that you want, right. Cause you deserve exactly everything that you desire. Um, and so obviously eventually I started gaining weight. I didn't have a good relationship with food. I ate my feelings. I didn't work out very often. So clearly I would start, um, I started gaining weight or I just, you know, and it, it wasn't like too bad, but and I carried it well, but I was overweight for what I want or for my height, definitely. And I was definitely not comfortable in my own skin. So that aided in my low self-esteem on top of that. Um, or after that, should I say, just let's go on with the story. So after a while, let's say in about high school, my sister and I started taking some dance classes and I started to enjoy um, physical activity a little bit more at that point because I really enjoyed dance. It was a way of working out that was fun and it wasn't like just working out and hammering it out and hammering out the reps because that was getting kind of boring. But that being said, in high school still, I also found myself a little bit more um, interested in weight training and like grade nine, I was like, whatever. It's like the normal stuff that you do. But grade 11, I took weight training and I thought that was pretty interesting. I had a lot of fun. I saw some good results there. And I noticed that, you know, I had some endurance when I believed in myself and when I had someone pushing me and I had someone supporting me. A teacher was like, freaking hammer, that guy. He was like insane. He was totally on it. But he was, he was there all the time, not like, and he was supporting us, helping us through, you know, our struggles. Our, and our limitations. He would tell us, you know, you can do this, you can do this, tell yourself you can do this. And, you know, in hindsight, I had no idea how much benefit just that little bit of belief in that he had in me did for me moving forward and for me to grow. Um, obviously, um, so like I said, in high school, I had a little bit of activity going in under my belt, but it wasn't a huge amount. It was like, once in grade nine, once grade 11, and some classes or some, some dance classes with my sister. So nothing was, again, terribly consistent throughout. And then finally in college, I really started putting on weight because I was not doing anything in college, I don't think. Um, like I was, no, not until my second year of college. So from, my, that's that's a clock, not a, not a doorbell. Don't worry, I'm not ignoring it. I'm not ignoring people. 
So for my first two, year, two years of college, I was fairly inactive, like super inactive, didn't do much. So I started getting a lot of weight. And then I think it was right after second year, I got dumped. So I started getting a lot more weight because I really started eating my feelings. And so eventually one of my best friends was like, listen, I see that you're gaining weight. Why don't you do this workout program with me? It's this home DVD workout. I found it at Walmart. And I think she said, or she might have borrowed it, for, bought it from a friend. I have no idea how she got it. I think she, I don't remember. But that's not the point. But she's like, try out this workout with me. She's like, it's kind of hard, but I know if we do it together that we'll be able to get through it and we'll just have a good time. And, you know, we'll help each other lose weight because we, we both wanted to lose weight. Um, and we both kind of had, like, you know, self-esteem issues, like I was saying. So we both kind of wanted, we both needed that support. We both needed to know that we had each other's backs. Like, we didn't, we didn't think we could do it alone. So having that support was really, really important and probably one of the biggest reasons, probably the only reason I succeeded in continuing because she was there supporting me and helping me and doing it with me. So, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. So <clears throat> the workout program that we did was called Insanity and it was fucking insane. <laughs> it was, it's called Insanity for a reason. It, I remember wanting, I remember stopping and taking a break before the warm up was even finished. The warm up's like 11 minutes long or something. And before it was even done, I was like, I can't breathe. This is awful. And it was, we were outside. It was a hot day. And it wasn't because I was hot. It was because I was dying because I was so out of shape. Um, in hindsight, I know more about the program now. And that was an advanced program. So in hindsight, not a good choice for beginners. But it challenged us and it proved to us exactly what we could accomplish and exactly what we could do. Like that shit wasn't easy and we did it and we got better at it. So that just proves to us now what we can accomplish. And the same for you. It just proves what you can accomplish, the little things every single day. Um, so we were doing this workout program and like I said, it was really tough. But we kept at it because like I said, we had each other. We would go to each other's houses. More often than not, I would go to her place and we would just work out, hang out, and it was fun because I meant I got to hang out with my best friend. We laughed because we both struggled, and we just, it was good because, again, we had the support. We had that friendship, and sometimes, obviously, we couldn't work out all the time, but we knew at the end of the day, like, we would call each other or text each other and be like, are you doing it? She'd be like, yeah, I'm doing it. I'd be like, okay, cool, I'm doing it too, and like, it was reassuring knowing that we were not alone in this journey, and again, that's probably the, one of the biggest reasons I did not give up. And that's why I do what I do, because I want to be that person for you, for everyone, as much as I can. I can't say everyone because I'm only one person, but I want to be that person for you. Because if you think about it, most of the things that we do in life where we excel, we have someone holding us accountable. We have someone telling us when we are screwing up or when we are doing right. And we have someone at our backs all the time. Like pro athletes have coaches, Pro business people have coaches. Most people have coaches or people who are supporting them and 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 giving them that emotional, spiritual, psychological, and, and or whatever support that they require, that accountability, that support, that that friendship that they need to keep them move forward. Anyways, I'm getting off track. Back to my story. So we started doing this program. It was tough, but we kept going because, like I said, we had each other. We didn't follow the nutrition plan because we thought we were better than that. Um, really, we just, we were lazy. But we did, we did start eating, we, we started eating a lot better. She had a better, um, better understanding of food than I did, so she educated me a lot on just kind of the proper ways to eat or better ways to eat, better things to eat, because I didn't know what the heck to eat. Like, I didn't know what was healthy. So she educated me a lot on that. God bless her soul. And so we just, we started, every day was, was every day. Like, we just, every day was different. We took it one day at a time. And... Um, it was, <clears throat> it was a really interesting transformation because it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't just physical, it was emotional at the same time, emotional, psychological, and it was like I was growing every single day, even though, um, I wasn't aware as it was happening, in hindsight, as that transformation happened, I grew more and more as a person and more confident as a person. Um, I know a big reason for that as well is because, Pretty, pretty much a week after I found this insanity program, after we talked about this program, um, another friend of ours was like, hey, come try pole dancing. I fell in love right away. And I was like, man, this is fun. <laughs> like I fell in love, right? And I was like, man, I want to do more of this. So because I was starting to feel better about myself, even with just like a week or so of working out with my girlfriend at home, I was starting to feel better about myself. I knew that these little steps would be the, the way to get better. 
I knew it because the guy on the TV with the crazy abs was like, if you do this every day, you're going to look like this. So I was like, I got to do this every day. Literally, that was me. So I was like, I know if I do this every day, I'm going to look better. If I look better, I'm going to feel better. At least at the time, that was my mentality. Although now I know it doesn't matter what I look like. I know that I am amazing and it does, and I should feel good. And the same with you. But sometimes, you know, it's okay to kind of slip in through the back door. <laughs> that sounded bad. But, but it's okay to, you know kind of go back, go at it a little bit backwards and just kind of start start feeling better in the ways that you can control. And if the only way you can control is physically, then start there and you'll be surprised how hard it would be to not transform emotionally at the same time. It's actually very difficult. So anyways, um, so once I discovered that all I had to do was these few simple steps like work out every single day, eat a little bit healthier, and you know be mindful of my nutrition give my body the, su the support and the food and the fuel that it needed once i figured out that that's all i really needed and once i had this this amazing goal of like well hey i feel a lot better when i do this plus i really like this thing called pole dance and it's a lot of fun so how can i get better at this hmm, i'll get stronger using this workout program like i had my goal and i had this amazing tool and this this incredible opportunity to change my lifestyle and that's what it was. I wasn't just doing something temporary, expecting results to just appear and stay there. I was committed to doing something long term and I was committed to changing my lifestyle. I was committed to saying goodbye to the things that were no longer serving me and I was committed to moving forward and that was scary and it was an investment in my time, it was an investment in money, it was an investment in my learning and my growth and in myself, but it was fucking worth it because I'm probably in the best health I've ever been. I was able to bounce back from recovery super fast. I'm able to be, I'm able to just continue doing the things that I love. I'm resilient. I'm, it's been seven years. I'm still a pole dancer. There are people who, who have to take longer breaks because they have more injuries. I've been able to pretty knock on wood. I've been able to avoid a lot more injuries than a lot of other people that I've known simply because I've taken the time to commit myself to the self-care practices that I need to do every single day. And that includes, like I said, showing up for my personal workout, showing up for my nutrition, showing up mindfully and aware and, and with awareness. I'm getting off track, but you know what I mean? Like, like it's all about being aware and mindful and just, and having, and having the, the guts to commit and to change and to let go right? It's hard to let go because we're always focusing on what we're letting go. So instead of focusing on what we're letting go, do what I did. Focus on what you want to gain. Like I wanted to feel better. I wanted to look in the mirror naked and like it and be like, I'm hot. I wanted to have sex with the damn lights on and not feel self-conscious. And I wanted to climb up a pole like a monkey and hang off my arms like a crazy imp or chimp. I just like, I wanted to have a good time and I wanted to be able to do it easily. I wanted to like crush it. So I knew that I had to commit, and so that's what I did. And and thankfully, I had people to support me. I had a great community at the studio. I had a great community um, or a great friendship that I had with my girlfriend, and we were doing those workouts at home. But, like, a lot of people think that, oh, pole dancing made you fit. And, yeah, it made me fit because it inspired me to get fit. But what people don't know is that when I when all this was happening, I went to pole dance class one time a week for a, for a, for like probably two years, but I only went one time a week. I was working out at home with this insanity program five, four, five, six times a week. Okay. So the majority of my progress, the majority of the commitment, the majority of the, the, the results were bred from the work I was doing at home, the work that I was doing by myself. And whether that was by myself or literally with my girlfriend, um, that was, that was the reason should I say that was that was the reason that I that I was able to move forward that I was able to grow so much and at the end of the day I was able to to change my to change my life I changed my lifestyle like I said I eat so much better my quality of life as a result is better because I am happier with who I am because I know that I can achieve great things I've done amazing things in the health and fitness um, with with respects to, to fitness with pole and so and that's translated into my confidence in other places like how you do one thing is how you do other things so once you start achieving in one area of your life it is only natural that you start achieving in other areas of your life and progressing naturally everywhere in your life I'm feeling and seeing that confidence and that growth ev growth everywhere so that's why I kept challenging myself because like every single day before I did this, before I committed to change, before I found 
like these this this change in my lifestyle every single day was a challenge <laughs> every single day was a challenge because I didn't want to get out of bed because I felt like crap about myself and I really just needed a change I was so ready for a change so if you are ready for a change like I was ready for a change then I want you to join me on my next challenge because like I told you or like I mentioned before in this video the reason that I started helping others and hosting challenge groups and hosting, you know, these fitness accountability groups, whatever the heck you want to call them. But the reason I became a coach and I started helping people with their health and fitness, essentially what I do is I help you find a program that works best for you. I help set you up with a meal plan. I help set you up with some superfoods. And from there, I make sure you don't quit. So like the coach who trains the pro athlete, like I check in with you as often as you need, but I essentially make sure that you don't quit. I make sure you see results. And if you don't see results, you can get your money back, like at 30 day guarantee, you know what I mean? But if you're ready to make that investment in yourself, because if you think about it, like it's a, it's an investment monetarily, sure, but it is an, in, but that's a short term investment. That's like a, that's a number. But if you think about the investment, Thinking about the story I just told you, think of the if you think about the investment over the long term, like it is priceless because it is it has changed my life entirely, and it has changed how I feel about myself, and it has, it's changed how I how I want to live my life. It's changed my happiness levels. Like I am much more, I am probably the happiest I've ever been, and I continue to be happier every single day, growing, knowing that I'm growing. I have always been happier when I'm challenged and when I'm growing, and that's why. This is what I do, and that's why I'm on. I'm here offering to help you because I have been doing this long enough now that I'm here to just share everything that I know with you, to support you as much as you need, and to be here to be that beacon and to be that that motivator when you need it, and to just be that person that holds you accountable. If you know that you need accountability, that's what I'm gonna be. If you know that you need support, that's what I'm gonna be. If you know that all you need is direction, and then you want to do it on your own, and then you want me to check in with you like in a month then that's what I'll need. That's what I'll be. Do you know what I mean? I'm here to be whatever you need me to be, but I want to be here for you because I know that without the support of someone else, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. And I wouldn't probably be here today because I was not in a good place before all this shit was happening. Like I was not in a good place. There was a scary place for a very long time. Okay. And if, and if you've been in that scary place, you know exactly what I mean. Okay. So I'm super grateful to be here, to be able to share this opportunity with you. But essentially, we're going to be starting the Monday after Halloween. So I believe that's the 6th of November. Shed the Sugar Challenge, like I mentioned. We're going to be working with personalized workout programs, personalized meal plans, superfood shakes so that you can stay on track to get the best results and to make sure that you are just having the best time with your nutrition. And we're going to be working with probably the easiest portion fix system. There's going to be really easy containers that you're going to be using to make sure that you can just take the guesswork out of your food. And um, you're also going to have free access. I was like, what am I forgetting? You're going to have free access to my wellness studio or my accountability group, my boot camp, whatever the heck you want to call it. <laughs> okay, there's a ton of words that you can probably call it. Um, but essentially, it's a community for you to come and to get support, get that friendship otherwise from myself because you're going to get it from the peers as well. Like to get other peer support and other peer experience. That's where I'm going to be posting all of my experiences, all of my tips, all of my tricks, all of the accountability is going to be there as well. There's going to be personalized accountability as well as group accountability. So there's going to be one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching, you name it. Okay, that being said, we will talk ASAP. So let me know if you are interested in joining. I want you to feel the best in your life. I want you to be the best you that you are so or that you can be. So let me know if this is something that sounds right for you. Looking forward to chatting more with you. I'm going to be posting a link in the comments for you to um, click on if you're interested. There's going to be a form for you to fill out. Once you fill out that form, I'll get in contact with you and we'll start the process there. Thank you very, very much for listening to this video and have a super fantastic day. Thank you and bye. Mwah.